you guys want to know how to make the best fried catfish you ever ate in your life, you better stay tuned and watch this. Got to have the red hot and put that crap on everything. <laughs> Ready? Mm. Oh man, son, it just don't get no better than that. To go for a walk. Come on, let's go in the woods. Nice blackberries, a couple of them, right? What you doing, Bella? You looking at them too? Hmm, sour. That's good buck food, though. Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Whitetail Bushcraft. I'm Nick Marino, my son Sean Marino, and Bella Marino the dog. We're going to fry us up some fried catfish today, freshly caught, so stay tuned. Alright, first thing you guys are going to need is a good cooking vessel. I like to use cast iron whenever I'm deep frying. It seems to work the best, especially when you're doing it on a campfire, because what will happen, you get that thin titanium stuff, your fish and your batter and stuff will start burning on you. And I like to carry uh, my oil in little flasks. I like to use a good canola oil or a peanut oil. This here is a canola oil. Took a couple of flasks, but it worked. I wanted to make sure I had plenty of oil. Look at these big old chunks of catfish, buddy. Beautiful catfish. Way too big for the pan. I can only carry so much in this heat. So I kind of went with a medium sized pan. We're going to cut these up into chunks. And I'm going to show you my secret ingredient. You know what? I might leave that hole like that. That piece. And I'm going to show you my secret ingredient for the easiest way to bread fish in the woods or camping, car camping, whatever, bushcrafting. Uh, don't have to deal with egg or anything like that. That's a, a big pain. Uh, we're just gonna use my secret ingredients and I'll show you that soon. Beautiful. First thing I wanna do is put some Old Bay Spice on this. That way it'll be on the fish. I love it on catfish. Slip them. Get both sides. Ample amount. Don't be afraid of it. Another free shout out. No sponsor in any way. Obey. All right, guys. It's time to show you the secret ingredients to breading your fish and getting coming out with the best fried fish. I don't care if it's catfish, walleye, whatever. Brian Magic. Free shout out to them. No sponsor at all. But this stuff is the bomb. You will love it. Out here today, I'm sweating like a banshee. But all you got to do, pour you an ample amount in here for your fish. There's a lot of spices in this already. And this is a real fine powder. Put quite a bit in there. That should do it right there. If not, we can always add more. All right, all I do is start throwing the chunks in, maybe three at a time, since they're pretty good sized catfish. Zip lock it up, and just do the shaky shake. These will come out perfectly breaded. Look at those guys, no egg, no, no milk, no nothing. Just perfect. Get back, Bella, you ain't eating it yet. Give you some, but not yet. This is great on chicken, pork, you name it. Throw three more in there. Look at those slabs of catfish, baby. Gotta love it. Oh 
shake it, shake it, shake. Don't take much because this stuff sticks, man. I know my grease is ready. I hope it's not too hot. You may have to pull it off when I first throw them in. But look at that, guys. It's completely covered. Beautiful. Beautiful. And you see, guys, look, my hands ain't all sticky, full of egg and milk and all that stuff sticking to me. I use a paper towel pretty much just to wipe that off. That's a pile of catfish right there. Man, that's a pile of catfish. I'm ready to eat already. Give the oil a little test. I think she's good. She might be a little hot. Oh, yeah. Man, that's not going to take long at all, guys. And you don't want to overcrowd it because then you'll end up just boiling it. Three chunks at a time should be good. Look at that, guys. Nice and brown. You don't want to play with it too much because you'll end up knocking the crust off. But this crust sticks very well. And you're going to actually be able to taste the fish. Just awesome looking. Look at that. The fish doesn't take too long, maybe about four minutes a side. You can only see that's getting beautiful brown. First three are ready to pull off. When you're working with this grease, guys, you got to be real careful. You can get burnt real easy because that could flame up on you. You're definitely going to want just a plate with some paper towels. Or even a grate would work if you got a grill while you're backpacking. Look at those guys. I mean, those are just perfect. Oh, I can't. I'm not going to be able to wait to eat that. We got six more pieces to cook. This one's a big fatty piece. Be the best catfish you ever ate. I'm telling. You. Go ahead and throw a couple more in. And them were some slabs. You did pretty good fishing, Sean. That one curled on me, but that's all right. Old Bella's sticking around right now. She ain't exploring. You might have to get that fire up again because that's the one thing you got to keep it good and hot, or your bread will get mushy. Man, I'm not going to be able to wait much longer, Sean. This stuff's making me hungry. This oil and this fire is hot. We're about 90 degrees today. We're supposed to get up there at least. I had to get some more wood on the fire. It started cooling down. That's the thing about cooking out outdoors. you got to really tend your fire. Sometimes it gets too hot and you got to pull your pan off the fire and just set it on the ground. Man, you cook them by a fire every day in this kind of heat. That would get to you. Nice thing is uh, we got a good breeze in the forest here and uh, no bugs are bothering us at all. Bad boys are ready to pull. Man, those are some big fat chunky pieces there. Look at that nice white flaky meat. That big one I might leave in there a little longer because it's so fat. So I'm going to go ahead and throw some more on. That way we can eat. I also got a special little thing I brought for my birthday. So we're kind of, me and Sean celebrate my birthday out here. I'll let you guys guess how old I am. Maybe the first person who guessed will give them an Expedition Research uh, kettle. Man, I can't wait anymore. It's so hot, but look at that, Sean. Look at that white flaky meat. Crust is sticking on there real good. Oh, son. It just don't get no better, man. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. The one on good ways. That guy's. Look at that white flaky meat. Want to try it, Sean? Tell me what you think. And we ain't even got our whole meal together yet. Oh, that's good. That's, that's real good. Stuff. You want a little bit, Bella? Good girl. Sip. Sip. Good girl. Come stay back. Stay back. That's for us. You want some drawing on it. Man, does that look good. I let these get a little more golden brown on the one side just because they were uh, a real fat. Those would be good on some sandwiches there. I'm going to flip that one one more time because that one was the fattest piece. And look at that, guys. That's some good looking catfish, if I do say so myself. Here out in the woods, this is definitely not an ultralight packing trip. But you can use that frying magic backpacking to put it in a Ziploc baggie, you're ready to go. No eggs, no milk, just got to catch some fish. It does look like fried chicken, don't it? All right. Jalapeno popper time. Also, this is an experiment. I've never tried this on jalapeno poppers. And uh, getting the seeds out of them right now. I'm stuffing them with some pepper jack cheese, make it even spicier. And we're gonna try breading them. I don't know if the breading will work. That's a little too thick. I don't know if the breading will work, but we're gonna try it. And we'll see. Oh, peanuts are hot. Usually the store-bought ones aren't very hot. Miles burning. But we're gonna go ahead and shake it up in this uh, frying magic. We'll see if they'll stick too. It's this real smooth surface, but they're good and uh, cold and damp, so maybe they'll stick. And get inside of it if nothing else. We'll throw them in there too, guys. I think the breading is gonna come right back off of the outside, but we got quite a bit of it in the inside. We'll give them a try though. They'll still get cooked, and they got that cheese inside of them. Well, the breading didn't stick to them, but it did stick to the cheese. So maybe it'll be pretty good. Still worth trying. I'm not gonna be able to leave them in there too long because all that cheese will start melting out of them. It should still be pretty good. Still be a deep fried pepper. Did want to show you another look breaking into that fish. How white it is, look at that. I mean, that's just beautiful fish, man. Beautiful. Oh, mm. Yeah, we're gonna have to eat, Sean. Get a nice zoom in on that. Right there, is some whitetail, bush crab, catfish. Frying magic, guys, that's the way to go. Gotta try it once, you'll love it. Brought us out some real nice pepper rolls. That way if we want to make a sandwich, it's got the peppers baked right in. We're pushing the peppers today. Those are some beautiful rolls, go great on a fish. I kind of didn't know what I want, just fish or just fish sandwich, so I brought a little everything. Big old slab of fish. Look at that. <laughs> Big old slab of fish for Sean. Stay there, Belle, don't you be grabbing anything. You want uh, spinach, Sean? I'll take spinach. Some spinach. Make you like Popeye. Guys, you gotta have the red hot if you're gonna be eating any uh, catfish. Gotta have the red hot. But I like to taste the fish first, but on a sandwich, this is great. You want some on yours, Sean? Oh. Throw that up. Make sure we get that. A little hot sauce. Look at that sandwich while I'm sweating to death. Gonna have to do the old taste test on that. Oh son. Oh son, oh son. Good 
stuff. All right, guys, can you see me? My nose is all scratched up and everything else. But uh, I got to give a shout out to my good buddy, Kevin. Got me a, uh, another Arche. He went up north, went to a brewery out in Akron, Ohio. Thank you all coming in. But it is a blueberry Hefenweizen, as the Germans would say. <laughs> But it's a 5.25. It's a big one. I think me and Sean's gonna share this one. So we're gonna start eating, guys. I can't wait. Gotta have the red hot. I put that crap on everything. Ready? Mm. Oh man. Son, it just don't get no better. Into blueberry. Ooh, it smells good. It's not it's bad. bad. It's gonna make a mess. <laughs> Before you're already, I got already drunk without even uh. I gotta try some of this fish. Get back, Val. You will knock them over. And it's time for the catfish of the day. Got a nice color to it. How's the taste? Let's see. Well, to my birthday. Happy birthday. Thanks. You guys got to guess how much. Maybe we'll give you a, whoever guesses how old I am, we'll give you a uh, expedition research sent out to you. That's real nice. Sweet. Yeah, it's not it's not a fruity. It's just, hint. It's just, just a hint. Way. When you breathe out, you get that. Just a hint of blueberries. I highly recommend that. Nothing like a little bit of catfish, a little bit of bush drinking on your birthday. Can't forget the hot sauce though. I like to taste the fish first. Go with the sandwich. Our jalapeno poppers weren't the biggest or weren't the best, but, but let's stay back, honey. That's hot weren't the best uh, breading or anything like that, but they do look good. We'll still try them. Oh, man. I do like that beer. Yeah, no, it's nice. 5.25 or something like that? What is it? Let's see. 5.25% full body, wait, full bodied Hefenweizen with a smooth finish featuring refreshing blueberry notes. And it definitely, I mean, that's exactly what it's Back like, open. guys. Exactly. Oh, man. This, this is a birthday. Those got some bite to them. No, oh, those jalapeno, those jalapenos mm -hmm. are really hot. Usually the store-bought ones aren't. No. That's got mm. quite a bite. Mm. Oh, man. That fish is amazing. Amazing. I know I showed it to you guys, but I'm gonna have to get you another up close piece of that fish. Look at that breading, guys. Am I in the sun good? Let's see if we can't move it over here. Look at the breading on that, guys. I mean, it's just pure white catfish, man. You just can't beat that. I mean, can't beat it. Look at that, nice and flaky. Mm, 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 mm. Man, is that good. Look at that hawk, saying happy birthday too. <laughs> that was nice, gotta give her a piece. Her ribbon. Stay back. Man, oh man, is that good. I sweat it quite a bit doing it, but it was well worth it, guys. I mean, well worth it. Cheers. Thanks for joining me on my birthday. I'm Nick with Whitetail Bushcraft, my son, Sean, Bella the dog, of course. Thank you for always being out there. I really appreciate it, guys. I'm really going to try to start putting out a video a week. It's been crazy busy this time of year for me. And 
hoping things are going to start slowing down a little bit at work and life and everything. It's just been rough. Sean going to college, he uh, did his internship at uh, Mohican State Forest. So it's really cool for him. He's got to go back to college here in a couple weeks, two weeks, about two weeks. You're going back to college, so leave me and Bella alone in it again. But I'll definitely go down and visit him. We'll do some fishing. We're planning on a trip here with the family. Should be some good times there. I won't bring you along to show you some of the fishing we do there, hunting, cooking, whatever. We'll bring you along. But I'm Nick with Whitetail Bushcraft. God bless you all. I'll catch you on the next video, guys. Take care. Man, this is good fish. How about the sandwich? Oh, that's, I forgot about that. That's already had gone. Yeah, to show you the sandwich, too, guys, again. Yeah, buddy. You need some more water, girl. Here. It's 90 degrees days. You got to make sure your dogs are are hydrated, not dehydrated. She's such a good dog, though. She's doing about 82 pounds, I'd say. Very, very strong dog, though. Very strong. Very protective, but very loving at the same time. They're a great breed.